I'm Steve Lenshill, Precision Ag Specialist, Great Plains. Today we're going to give you a whirlwind tour of the X35 Universal Terminal that we use along with the ISO 6 control module that's used on our planters today. The combination of the two today, two together, give us many functions and features that are usable for the end user. The Topcon terminal itself, as you see it here, is 12 inch touchscreen that's available. It starts off, there's navigation bars on the left hand side of the screen. Those navigation bars all have little buttons and those are all little pull outs because there's little mini views that come in and out and you put them up and down or wherever you want them on the screen itself. When you just go on down from there, there's a inventory manager button at the top bottom left up there and then there's a wrench that's a toolbar. That toolbar gets us in the toolbox of the terminal itself to set up different functions that we have and how it's going to be used on the planter that's there. Across the bottom what you have there is a screen that shows all the functions that you want to see as you're planting in the field itself. You can see date and time you can see the GPS if we have that at play vote in the direction of travel and there's a master switch to turn it on and off. There's also a little slide up on the console itself and that's a power on and off button, screenshots, brightness, and even got a little question mark green because if you're curious about what all these little question marks mean or these little pullouts mean you can hit any one of them and before you actually make that commitment there do I want to turn that on and off. So that's a very called a little help screen that's available for all the buttons on the outside of the terminal itself. To the right side of the terminal is what's known as a guidance bar, but we're not using it for steering, but we are using it for the little job menu button and the little field menu button. Once again, they pull out and they have their own menus that show on the right side when you're actually using more features like sex control on the planner itself. The top of the screen is all set up for your map displays and that's what it's for. So what do you want to see when it's actually mapping and how many layers do you want to see? Do you want to see coverage? Do you want to see the rate that you're planting? Do you want to see the GPS quality that you have? That's all functional from the top of the screen itself. Now if you just have a ground drive planner and that's all that you have for the features on that planner itself, no section control itself. It's then we actually have a large screen you can go to not needing all these other buttons here. As you can see that's what the planner looks like for a ground drive type planner. You have a large monitor and that's the, that would be our planner screen that's up and running for you. That's that filling all the screen usability that's there and what's available to you. Now we're going to start talking about the task controller functions of the terminal itself. Those task controller functions are actually anything that's GPS related and we start off with swap command set control. Swap command requires a good source of GPS and we got to have that to begin with and hopefully everybody's up to their standards using RTK or something of that nature there but we got to have that for set control. If we have our GPS lit up there's a lot of things that do appear on the side and have the functions that we have available to us there. When GPS does come up, it sure changes things in a hurry and we have a lot of functionality that we have. We have our auto set control which you can turn on and off and we also have what's known as virtual switches. Every section that you have in a planner you can have a virtual switch down there at the bottom so you can actually turn these on and off if you're going through headlands, if you're going through waterways, grass strips, something that isn't on your map already you can shut them off by section through those virtual switches itself. You can also start with making your own boundary because a coverage map where you plant its coverage and that creates your boundary. You can load boundaries. You can bring them in from shape files or you can import them in that way or you can create your own. Once you have a boundary you can also have exclusion zones and headlands to make it all work together. In addition to that we also have what's known as as applied maps and you can do that on any job that you have. You got the client, farm, field, and the job name for everything, and you can enter the job information and all the details you would like for each one of those jobs before you export them out. In addition to as applied maps, you can also do variable rate maps, which is importing shape files or MXL files, and go through that route and to bring in the prescription maps where everything's done, brought in, everything changes. The layers that you do are all there, and the mapping was taking place at the same time. 
One other feature of this terminal that's available to you, the dealer, and to your customer is known as remote support. If he has trouble out in the field and he has questions coming up on his terminal, if he has a, a Wi-Fi, which he has to have to begin with, and that can come with a wireless hotspot, an iPad, a phone, or a modem, whatever, and we have a USB to Wi-Fi dongle plugged into the back of the terminal itself, you can bring up that Wi-Fi, and you, the dealer, can acquire an eight-digit desk pin number that you can have through the Topcon Remote Support, and when he calls in and needs to know, can I see what my screen is and can you help me out? You can give him that eight digit number. When that shows up, he can actually poke in that number. When that shows up on your screen, you can actually have that up on your laptop or computer screen, much like I see you sitting beside me here. And you actually see his terminal, just like he has out in the field itself. Now, you have limited functions on that. You can control everything on there with the exception of the master switch and the universal thermal buttons. You can talk him through that and tell him what's going on and that's actually a positive for you because once he knows where to go and change the problems that he sees then he will get his problem taken care of and he won't be calling you back the next time he has a, an issue there itself. Now let's talk about the ISO 6 control module itself and that's actually the planner module itself as you see here and it's on the work screen that's there and that's also the home screen that it has. ISO's control module has nine different controls with four channels available and it also has channel linking and section linking cap capabilities too. What you're seeing here is what's known as a home screen. Now whether you have an X35 terminal or if you're on your tractor terminal this is actually the planner screen itself that you're going to see. So the home screen itself is very much customizable and as you can see by what are my choices that are there? This is what that home screen looks like, and that's the little squares you can feel. It's kind of like setting up your cell phone. How many buttons do I want up front? And you can make them go away, or you can add more buttons that's there. In addition to the home screen, there's actually known as the work screen, and that's actually the screen that we actually see when we're out planting. Work screen itself has a layout that's customizable too. We try to set up the two default screens that are there, and so it has it available and there's the first screen and there's the next screen that's there to give you the most information available as each planting what's doing there. He can customize those, add to them, he can have more screens and we can go up to four total work screens. Once he's up and going and he's actually planting in the field itself as you can see by the work screen that's there that's giving him all the functionality that he has on the first screen. That's the most important screen that he has to change. The nice thing about the work screen is, is every display type on that work screen actually has information screen hidden beside it. And that information screen is giving you all kinds of things to look at as you're being steered across the field with his hydraulic steering and everything's working, his guidance is working correctly there so he can actually check functionality of the planner itself and the control system itself. There's a diagnostic screen. Everything has its own thing and something you can even change. You actually zero out your acres and reset those if that's what you have there, but all the functions work together here and they all have things that you can do and show why you're planting. Singles, skips, multiples, spacing quality, we can give you all that information and get that right at your fingertips and see what's going on there. So everything's together and, and showing you what that planter is doing all the time as they're planting in the field. That's kind of a whirlwind tour of the ISO 6 and the X35 terminal. Thank you very much for watching this video.